Bonjour les étudiants and welcome to another French lesson. In today's French lesson, we will learn about definite articles. What are definite articles? When and how do we use definite articles in French language? So let's start today's French lesson. Imagine a situation. A mother and her child are in the park. The child wants to play with someone. But he does not know any other children who are playing in the park. So the child says to his mother, Mama, I want to play with someone. Her mother looks around in the park and sees a boy who is playing alone in the park. So the mother says to her child that here is a boy who is playing alone. You can play with him. Now comes the next day. Both the mother and her child are in the same park. The child says the same thing to his mother that mama I want to play with someone. The mother looks around in the park and sees the same boy who played yesterday with her child. The mother says to her child that here is the boy who played with you yesterday. You can play with him. Now look at both these sentences which the mother has used. On the first day the mother used this sentence here is a boy. On the second day, the mother has used this sentence, here is the boy. So what do you think? What is the difference here in both these sentences? So the difference here is in the article. This is an indefinite article and this the is definite article. So what do we understand by this? When do we use indefinite article? We use indefinite article before a noun that is general or when its identity is not known. On the first day, the mother did not know the child. In the second sentence, the mother used the, the which is definite article. So when do we use definite article? We use definite article before a specific noun, something which is known to you, something which is particular. On the first day, the mother did not know that child. That's why she used here is a boy. Something which is in general. The second day, she knew that child. She identified that child. That's why she used the to specify the child. Here is the boy. Now look at this sentence. I just saw the most popular movie of the year. Why did I use the in this sentence? Why I did not use a, a movie? Why I used the? Because there are many movies, but here I'm talking about a specific movie, a particular movie, which I just saw. So here I'm specifying only one particular movie, which is the most popular of the year. That's why I have used this the, which is definite article. Now we know when do we use definite articles. Now let's learn what are definite articles in French and how do we use them in French language. So in English, we only have one definite article, which is the. In French, we have more than one definite articles. So look at here. These are definite articles in French. Le, la, le, l apostrophe. Le, la, le, l apostrophe. These are definite articles in French. Now, how do we use them? We use le before any masculine singular noun. We use le before any masculine singular noun. For example, le garçon, le garçon, that means the boy. Garçon means boy. Boy is masculine and singular. That's why we have used le, le garçon, the boy. We use la before any feminine singular noun. For example, la fille, la fille, that means the girl. Fille means girl. So girl is feminine as well as singular. That's why we have used la, la fille. We use le before all plural nouns. For example, le garçon, le fille the boys and the girls. So we have used le here because here garso and fi are written in plural form. We use l apostrophe before a noun 
which begins with a vowel. For example, likol, likol, that means the school. This noun begins with a vowel. E here is a vowel. That's why we have used an apostrophe. Likol, the school. Now let's look at them once again. L we use before masculine singular noun like la garso. We use la before feminine singular noun like la fille, the girl. We use le before all plural nouns like le garçon, le fille. We use el apostrophe before a vowel and silent h like l'école, the school. There is one more thing which you need to keep in your mind and that is all the nouns have a gender either they are masculine or they are feminine. That means this marker either it is masculine or it is feminine. This fan either it is masculine or it is feminine. This board is also either it is masculine or it is feminine. Now the question comes in our mind that how do we identify which one is masculine, which one is feminine. If we talk about human beings, it's very easy to figure out which one is male, which one is female. But when it comes to objects which are not, you know, living thing, which are non-living, how do you identify? So there are two ways to identify this. In two ways, you can identify which noun is masculine, which noun is feminine. The first way is to check the ending of that noun. For example, if any noun ends with E, so we consider it as feminine. For example, look at these words. The first noun is la tomate, that means the tomato. So look at the ending of this noun. It ends with E. So that's why this noun is feminine. Look at the second noun, la voiture. La voiture means the car. Again, see the ending. It ends with E. Again, it is a feminine noun. Look at the third noun, la chaise. La chaise. La chaise means the chair. Again, this ends with E. So again, it is a feminine noun. Fourth noun is la gombe. La gombe, that means the eraser. Again, it ends with E. Again, it is feminine noun. The last is la chemise. La chemise, that means the shirt. Again, it ends with E. It is also a feminine noun. So this is one way to figure out which one is masculine, which one is feminine. But this rule only applicable in 80% cases. In 20% cases, it is an exception. For example, look at this noun. Le livre. Le livre. That means the book. So this also ends with E. This noun also ends with E. But this noun is not feminine. This is masculine. That means this noun is exception. So in 80% cases, this rule is applicable. In 20% cases, this rule is not applicable. In the same way, there are other endings also, which you need to learn in order to identify which noun is masculine, which noun is feminine. The second way to figure out which noun is masculine, which noun is feminine is to read the noun with the article to read the noun with the article in French writing they always use articles before the noun either they use indefinite article or they use definite article so it is always recommended to all of you to read all the nouns with the article so that you will automatically learn which noun is masculine which noun is feminine most of the teachers recommend this second way to identify which noun is masculine which noun is feminine if you take the first way then you have to learn so many endings but if you take the second way then you don't have to learn something you don't have to force yourself to learn something you will automatically learn while reading now let's do some practice so i have written these nouns and you have to put the right definite article in front of all the nouns okay i have written the definite articles here the first noun is garçon. So which definite article you will put in front of it? Le, la, le, el apostrophe. So garçon means what? Garçon means boy. So which article we should put here? Yes, we will put le. Why? Because garçon is boy, which is masculine singular. And according to the rule, when do we use le before any masculine singular noun? So that's why we have used le here, le garçon, the boy. The next noun is homme. 
om om means man so which definite article we should put in front of it yes we will put l apostrophe here why because we use l apostrophe before vowels and silent h and here h is what h is silent that's why we are putting l apostrophe so it becomes loam that means the man now look at the third noun pizin so which article we will put in front of it just look at the ending of this noun it ends with e so what should i put yes i should put la i should put la before this so it becomes la pizin the swimming pool as i already told you that in 80% of the cases if any noun ends with an e so we consider it as feminine so here this is feminine that's why we are putting la la pizin the swimming pool last one gum that means erasers so which article should i put in front of it yes i would put les why because this noun ends with s that means it's a plural noun and according to the rule we put les before all the plural nouns there is one more rule which you need to keep in your mind and that is if any noun begins with a vowel but that noun is in plural form then you will have to put les only not l apostrophe why because this noun is in plural form in spite of the fact that this noun begins with a vowel lot of people make mistakes here so if any noun begins with a vowel but if it is a plural noun then you have to put les only so it's like legical that be the schools now this is your writing task you have to put definite articles in all these blanks so the first sentence is blank mer da sofi e grand mother of sofi is tall so you need to check whether this mother is what it is it is masculine it is feminine it is plural or this is a something a noun which begins with a vowel so accordingly you have to put definite article in front of it the second sentence is on for so three four children are very strong so which article you will put you will figure out the third sentence is ami ami the rahul a bo friend of rahul is handsome fourth sentence is il a blank frere the sofi he is blank brother of sofi last is say blank then taunt the rahul it is blank aunt of rahul so you have to put the definite article according to the noun whether they are masculine or feminine whether they are plural or they are beginning with a vowel so accordingly you will put definite articles in these blanks